You, you, you got to cry out to God and say, Lord, create in me a clean heart and renew a right spirit in me. I ain't got off the message. I ain't got off the message. I'm flowing. I'm flowing in the Holy Ghost. We thank God for the work of sanctification. Amen. Welcome into this broken vessel. Glory to God to bring deliverance and to bring exhortation and comfort to the men and women of God. One of the works of the flesh is adultery. Glory to God. Adultery, the spirit of adultery. Amen. It's one of the works of the flesh. Glory to God. This is the spirit. Amen. It can operate even if you're a Christian, if you say, if you yield to it. Because you can have disagreements in your marriage, disagreement in your marriage, and your flesh will make you feel justified to cheat on your companion. It will. And if you're not cheating on your companion physically, the devil have you to cheat on them in your mind. Are you hearing me? It's the same thing. The devil have you cheat on them in your mind. Well, you, man, well, the, the spirit of incubus and succubus will give you dreams. And you know what? That, that your flesh will hold on to that nasty dream. Huh? Because the dream is so real, your flesh will hold on to it. See, but God know the intents of our heart. Now, you know you, you can't watch no porno in your house because your, your wife will, will knock you out. But your stinking flesh will hold on that incubus and succubus because don't nobody know that nasty dream but you. Glory oh, to God. Because, because I told y'all, what was that, two weeks ago? I, man, I just got out of the prayer. Me and my wife said some great prayer. God moved that day. I mean, I fell asleep under the glory. Are you hearing me? Do you not know the enemy had the nerve to knock on my door? That spirit? A nasty dream. Are you hearing me? And I got up. I said, rebuke you, devil. Loose here. The blood. And I said, Lord, how could this? I just I fell asleep in your presence. That devil don't care. But I didn't, I didn't receive it. I rejected it. I didn't receive it. So that's the thing right there. And it left. You understand what I'm saying? So, so, so the incubus, yes, the, uh, yes, the uh, weapons of our warfare are not counted, but mighty through God to the putting down every stronghold. Cast down every evil imagination, every high thing that will exalt itself against the knowledge of God. When your obedience is fulfilled, though. Amen. My, my, my obedience was fulfilled when I, kept, when I re rejected it. Huh? Amen. Now listen. Spirit of adultery is a voluntary, voluntarily sexual intercourse between a married person and a person who is not his or her spouse. Are you hearing me? Voluntarily. My God, you know that's a foul spirit. Here's this a person that, that you're supposed to spend the rest of your life with, you're supposed to be in covenant with. Y'all supposed to love each other in thick and thin, rich and poor, sickness and health. And you voluntarily cheat on your companion. Voluntarily. Wholeheartedly. That's a demon that gives you. And you know, he's not going to come overnight with that spirit. It's going to come inch by inch. What's that script over there in First John? You know, uh, first, uh, uh, first the seed. And then once the seed is finished, then it brings forth death. That's how the enemy operates. He'll come with that seed. Huh? Come to see? And then you come to work, here she's staring at you. And spirits know, you, you know somebody pulling at you. Are you hearing me? I can be way over here and say a woman pulling on me, my spirit. You know that. Now, either I'm, either I'm going to open, either I'm going to say, mm, I feel, oh, yeah, she pulling on me. Either I'm going to go over there and say, oh, yeah. yeah. You, you ain't got to, you can just say one thing. Y'all just end the conversation. Because spirits talk to each other in the unseen world. Are you hearing me? Or you can say, you foul spirit. You, I, don't even, I don't even have to move my lips, but in my spirit, I'm saying, I rebuke you, unclean spirit. Turn your head away from you, nasty devil. And you know what? She turned her head. <laughs> Glory to God. Amen. But here you voluntarily. And, and, and this main spirit of adultery, it really, 
it really attacks people when y'all in a, have a disagreement or y'all have a spirit of division in the home or a bad argument. And that spirit make you feel justified. And the spirit of adultery, the man can be cheated with another woman or the one with a man, but now the spirit of creeped in where the man is with another man in adultery. Are you hearing me? Or the woman with another woman. Because the man is mistreating a woman and now she feel like she don't feel like a lady and she got a spirit of rejection. So here come a, a, a person with a Lazarus spirit with a stronghold. And the spirit will seek out people with weak souls. Do y'all know that? Do y'all know the spirit seek weak links out to seduce them? Do y'all know that? Amen. And that spirit will seek that woman out and just seduce her and get her. And now she's trapped and now she's bound. Now she's confused. Are you hearing me? A spirit of adultery. When you volunteer sexual intercourse between a married person and a person who is not. His, and the Bible said when you commit adultery, the Bible said God will judge you greatly. That's a great judgment goes with adultery. And, and then your companion may cheat on you. And that's another spirit trying to attack the person. Well, she done it to me. I'm going to do it to her. No, you ain't justified. They don't justify to cheat on your companion. Not when you save and not when you're a Christian. Because the person that knows to do good and don't do it, it's a what? It's a sin. So the spirit of adultery, and it's happening big time in the body of Christ, in the church. Big time, man. But we curse the spirit of adultery. In the name of Jesus, we bind the spirit of adultery. We bind it in Jesus' name. God exposed the work of the enemy. God, in the name of Jesus, by the power of God, we bind adultery. Glory to God with that man of God. Glory to God, that bishop, that apostle, that prophet, that teacher, that evangelist. My God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we lose the conviction power of God. To minister deliverance unto them. And I'm going to tell y'all something else. Some of these programs, it entertains adultery. That's why I don't even watch it. I don't watch. What's that program? Uh, Green Leaf. Green Leaf. How many of you heard of that, that program, Green Leaf? Because I saw some stuff. I said, man, this is disgusting, man. I'm turning from this. Green leaf and what's the other one? A lot of y'all know uh, uh, it's uh, uh, what's the have and have nots. All that perverted stuff because the because the person, the people that's inventing these things, they pervert it. Amen. Power. I don't even I don't even watch no power no more. Because I had a thing for gangster movies. But it's too much perversion in, in them power movies. Amen. Uh, power. Y'all know that gangster movie. Don't act like y'all don't know. Come on now, man. Glory to God. Adultery. Okay. One and another work of the flesh is sexual immorality. Sexual immorality in the Greek word, it means ponania. Pornography. My God. Help us, Lord. Come on, say help us, Lord. God Almighty. Pornography, pornania, in the Greek, a general term for all unlawful sexual intercourse, prostitution, homosexuality, and beastology. This is what's going on. This is what's going on. And you know what? That, porn, that porno spirit, and when you watch that stuff, amen, the devil ain't going to tell you. Hey Amen. You can be straight, but if you keep watching this stuff and playing with yourself, you know what you're doing? You entertain a homosexual demon because you're playing with your own self. Right. Amen. You a man and you play, you playing with yourself. Amen. That's amen. That's 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 stirring up the spirit of homosexuality. Man, can I tell the truth? Pornania, spirit of pornography. This was happening. And it's happening, in, it's happening in schools. Amen. Even sex education, they're showing porn in there. They teach our children. 
They're encouraging pornography. They're encouraging homosexuality. That is right and that is normal. Beastology. That's the, that thing, that spirit is on the rise. My God, that's amazing. Man, you just, you're like, Lord, is this stuff real? Do people do this stuff? But they're doing it. Beastology, having sex with animals, dogs, sex with sheep. Glory to God. That's why we got to get up. That's why we got to walk around and walk accordingly because we got a work to do. We got so much work on our hands. And my spirit is like this, man. I'm not, I, listen, I'm not for, I mean, I can, I minister to the saints, but my spirit is reaching out to those that really need help and need deliverance. I mean, we, we're going to always need each other and build each other up in the spirit, but I'm telling my soul is reaching out for people that need deliverance, that don't know Christ, and people that's in Christ that need deliverance, that's bound. Because that's what people is doing. We don't talk about masturbation. But it's happening with single Christians. They're single. Amen. You, you, everybody don't have no gift of, of being a eunuch. Everybody don't have no, a gift of being no eunuch. Some people do have a gift of being a eunuch. Well, sex, is no, they, can, they, can, they can live without it. Amen. They can live without it. Now, Apostle Paul, he made himself a eunuch. Paul, he was no eunuch. He made himself a eunuch. Amen. He made himself a eunuch. But some people are born eunuchs, but everybody no eunuch. So what are you going to do when you feel that when you, your Cheerios get to rolling? Huh? What are you going to do? What you know what you're going to do? You're going to fast. You're going to pray. Amen. You're going to deny that flesh, and, and you're going to get your deliverance, and you're going to get your wife, or, you, or you're going to get your husband. That's how you do that. Amen. Glory to God. But first make sure you get some deliverance before you get married. Amen. Amen. But uh, we, we have this thing going on in the body of Christ. I remember a young lady came to me a while back, years ago, uh, when I was at Monument, and she came to me, and she said, you know what, I need some deliverance because my hands is nasty. I got an unclean demon in my hands. She said, I play with myself. I said, you know what, don't you ever tell that to nobody else. Don't tell that to another man. And I said, you tell them to me. I said, but I love God. I ain't going to try to take advantage of you. I said, don't ever tell that to another man. But she really needs some deliverance. But a lot of people don't like talking about this. A lot of saints in church is doing these things. They got dildos in their deal in their drawers, Mother Barnes. Are you hearing me? And the devil got them thinking that uh, that this is fine, that God understands. He knows that I'm single. He knows that I have needs. No, yeah, he do know that. But God told us to, amen, to, res, uh, to, to submit ourselves to God, resist the devil, he will flee. God told us to mortify the deeds of our flesh. He told us that in his word. Ain't no excuse. So this is a work of the flesh. The works of the flesh, that's why it's called the works of the flesh. The work of the flesh is when you work it, when you practice it. Now, you may do this uh, uh, at times, but this is the works of the flesh. These are people that actually work in it. Like we work on our job, like I go to work every day. Amen. I get my wages. These, this is the people that work in it and practice in it. We, I'm going to get to that. Don't worry about that. Don't, 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 I'm going to get to that. Amen. So adultery is one of the works of the flesh. Sexual immorality is one of the works of the flesh. Thank you, Lord. So if you have problems with masturbation, ask God for deliverance. Ask God to help you fast and pray. Seek the Lord. He can do it. Amen. The more you, the more you fast, the more you starve and weaken, um, the more you weaken your flesh and your spirit man will become stronger. Glory to God. God is able to keep that that you commit unto him. Don't tell me God can keep you. He can keep you. Amen. Now, I, now listen, I, I'm a realistic preacher. Now, I know how it is to be kept of God, and I know how it is to slip. Are you hearing me? But when you slip, it's pleasurable, but you're going to pay. You're going you're gonna to pay. Glory to God. Are you hearing me? 
But ask me, ask me, did I ask me, did I wallow in it? Ask me, did I keep practicing it? No. Because there's a seed of righteousness on the inside of me that I cannot sin. You know what that means? There's a seed of righteousness on the inside of us that we won't remain in sin. You can't practice it. Amen. I'm going to get to my testimonies another time, but right now, let me preach this gospel. Amen. Another one is uncleanliness. Say, say uncleanness. uncleanness. Uncleanness is morally, somebody that's morally or spiritually unclean, impure, infected with a witchcraft spirit. Uncleanness is somebody that does I'll have a moral, spiritually unclean spirit and is infected with a witchcraft spirit. Huh? A spirit of uncleanness. Amen. That's a spirit where you can think right and think clean. Every thought is wicked, nasty, foul. Amen. You mean, Tim, you can't think pure? Something wrong with that. Man, I thank God for deliverance in my mind. I thank God. Glory to God. I thank God. Uncleanness. The other one is, is, is lustfulness. Lustfulness, which is the, uh, the King James Version, is lasciviousness. A spirit of lasciviousness where, as well, you got, you got chocolate. You got chocolate. But you're not satisfied with chocolate. You want strawberry. You want banana. You want uh, raspberry. Amen. The lust goes to different levels. Lust, it graduates. That's a spirit of lasciviousness. It's a, a spirit of lustfulness, meaning you are full of lust. Just like we full of the Holy Ghost. Huh? And we so full to them tongues that's manifest. That's how lust is. Lust is so, you so full of lust until your eyes is everywhere. Man, you see, you see uh, attractive women in a room and that demon in your eyes going all over. Ooh. Oh God, you're going to lose your mind. <laughs> Glory to God. <laughs> you got that right. Yeah. And you know what they call it? Reckless eyeballing. Here's your wife right next to you and you sit up here looking at that woman way over there. You're full of lust, man. You're so full of lust, you can't even control your thoughts. You can't even control your eyes. You're so full of lust. Here you, here, here you got a girl that's, you got a young girl, she was she, eight, 17 years old, but her shorts is way up here, Mother Barnes. And you can't even teach, minister Christ to her because your nasty self, you ain't even looking at her, you looking at her thighs. You're supposed to be looking at the girl, but not to Christ. You're so full of lust. You can't even see her as your daughter. Are you hearing me, man? Well, that's how lust is. That's how lust is. And you wonder why kids be getting molested. That's be people that be full of lust. That's why we better be praying for our children. Praying for our, I, 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 I stay praying for my grandbabies. Glory to God. Praying for them. Lord, cover them with your blood. Glory to God. Spirit of a lustful spirit. Glory to God. I got two daughters. When my daughters come over, you know what I do? Glory to God. You think I be walking around with my tank top on and shirt off? Man, I put a shirt on. Amen. It, it wouldn't even bother them if I, but if I still, it's just, a, it's just the way you do things, man. My wife, she have a, 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 got a son. She ain't going to walk around like she walk around when we by herself with her gown on. You know what she's going to do? Put some clothes on. And that's her son. But you'd be surprised how people, Eve, just so full of just minds is messed up. They be dressing all kind of ways around their kids and everything. Lustfulness, full of, it's a person that's full of uh, and motivated by a spirit of lust and greed. It says a spirit of lasciviousness or lustfulness, you are motivated by the spirit. 
motivated by it. Huh? Playboy magazine is motivated. Are you hearing me? What's the other magazines? I don't know. What? Uh, praise God. <laughs> That's perversion, period. The magazines, they're motivated. Amen. Motivated. You'd be surprised how much that industry make billions of dollars on people's souls. That spirit, I remember reading a book years ago, and I'm going to get that book. I'm going to get that book. And I'm going to have a men's service. It's just going to be men's, and we're going to get some deliverance. But it's a book where this spirit of lust and perversion had him so strong, he nicknamed the spirit of perversion the dragon. And, and he said in his book, he would cry and say, oh, oh, I don't want to, oh, oh, I don't want to watch pornography. I don't want to go to computer. I don't want to do it. I don't. He said, but that spirit was driving him. It was a demon that even no matter how much he didn't want to do it, but it was driving him. And a demon told him and said, come on, let's go for a ride. And he would get on that dragon here, go for a ride. Huh? It's a, the spirit of perversion and lust is a driven spirit. Huh? The spirit, another work of the flesh is idolatry. Idol worship. Idol worship is a spirit of glorification and fanaticism. Glorification, fanaticism, idol worship. Amen. That's why I don't care how much the Lord used me and anoint me, uh, pray for the sick and they get healed. I don't see people healed. I don't see miracles manifesting. Amen. Glory to God. The office of a prophet ministering, prophetic word has been coming to pass, but I'm telling you, you better watch yourself. Because I'm telling you, you can feel when pride is lurking. Pride is just like a virus. You know how you feel that little virus? You don't, it, it, it's not full blown, but you can feel some in your system. Huh? You say, man, I better just drink me some tea, give me some sleep or rest. You know, you can feel that spirit. And so that's just how pride is. You can feel that pride before it even comes. I say, you know what, devil, I bind you. You go somewhere, you get somewhere and get before God, get some deliverance. I mean, I do it every time. And I know me. If you don't know you, you're in bad trouble. I know Angelo. And I know when I feel pride and I, and I get somewhere and get in the word and humble myself, get my spirit right. Glory to God. Because you can glorify yourself. You can be drunk with your own self. You can be so drunk till you feel with your own self. Till you think you're something that you're not. Amen. I mean, no, that's right. And don't let you have some, some looks on the side, too. I mean, anointed and with good looks, man, God have mercy on you. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. So idol worship is a idol worship is glorification and fanaticism. Amen. Sometime, uh, you know, in Azusa Street, it turned out a move of the spirit, but they began to get too fanatical about it. And said, so guess what? Witchcraft, witchcraft creeped in. That's what stopped the move of the spirit. With Seymour and them, God was moving mightily, but they got too fanatical. They got spooky and creepy. Amen. They was getting in self and witchcraft crept in. Spiritualism crept in. And it, it broke the move of the spirit. Fanaticism. The uh, perfect example of fanaticism is when Peter, saw, uh, Peter, James, and John, they, they saw Jesus talking with Elijah and Moses and the glory of God. And Jesus glowing. glowing. The Bible says his, his uh, clothes was even glowing. And Peter saw that. Guess what Peter said? Oh, let us build three tabernacles. Huh? He got, then he get fanatical. Oh, Lord, ooh, it's a move of the spirit. My God, let's name this move of the spirit the three tabernacles. And God says, Sh shut up. Hear ye him. Amen. Pride to make you too fanatical. That's why, I, hey, I'm all into the apostolic and the prophetic, but we'll we get, we get too careful with that too. 
Apostolic, 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 apostolic. The prophetic, the prophetic, the prophetic, apostolic. Huh? I know I'm telling the truth. Say, man, wait a minute. This is a, something. What's going on here? Huh? Thank you, Lord. Everything with God is a balance. Everything. Everything is balanced. Too much of anything is, is, a, is, is uncleanness to God. It's an imbalance. It's an abomination. If it's not balanced, it's an abomination. An unjust balance is what? Abomination to God. Too much of anything is an abomination. Amen. Glory to God. Idol worship. Idol worship. You know what? I, you know, I wish I could. I wish I did have a six a six pack. Man of God, I know my, my wife wouldn't mind that either. Amen. What you say? What you say, baby? Oh, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, but you can get caught up in that with your body. And you know what? You can see that spirit. Them, them dudes that be into themselves. Man, you can see, you see it. It's, it's outer. I can't explain, but there's a spirit also on them. Yeah, man. That's a spirit. Uh, say what? Yeah, right. So, see, man, you just so into your 17, you just losing your mind. I mean, you done tune, you tune everybody out, and you so focused on yourself. Then another work of the flesh is sorcery. Somebody say sorcery. sorcery. Sorcery is the use of magic, especially by black magic, witchcraft, enchantment, and spells. Amen. I remember I ministered on this years ago about uh, different, uh, on witchcraft. And, and, and you know what? You women, be careful with them candles too. And if you do get a candle, because ain't nothing wrong with candles, because some women like them candles where it's like design. They put it on the bathroom and they see. My wife, she's a designer, so she likes certain candles. She, you know. But I tell her, well, you go, you, if you bring a candle in this house, look up under it and look up that word. Amen. Look up under the candle and look up the word. Because one time, years ago, uh, somebody gave us a gift with a candle. And, and I know I've, I've been, I was fasting and praying in his presence, but I felt the spirit of lust, man. I said, Lord, where is this coming from? What is it? And I told my daughter, I said, Have you, what you been doing at night? You, what you been doing? Are you doing something? She said, no, I ain't, I ain't doing nothing. I said, let me see your hands. So they ain't see no unclean spirit on it. She said, oh, no. And man, and the Holy Ghost said, man, I heard it so clear. The Holy Ghost said, go in the bathroom and look under the candle. And I looked up a word. I forgot the word for, word for but the, the, the word meant was, it, it was uh, arouse, arouse, to arouse. And I ain't got to go into detail with that. I said, you foul spirit. I said, baby, throw that candle in the garbage. Are you hearing me? Candles, incense, and all of that. You know, you get at the store. And then even that Indian spray, where I say uh, blessings. to Yeah, all that, man. Glory to God. We got to be very careful what we in, intake in our home. We really do. 